Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're gonna be jumping into another session of Epic 7L today. Got some more draft mode for you guys. That's right, this time around there is no time frame in which we can play this mode. It's unlimited now. And look, the queues are just as fast. Smilegate, I don't know what you're smoking when you put that time limit in there, honestly, but thank you for listening to the feedback and getting rid of it, because it was insane. It was legitimately blocking, like, the entire east coast of the U.S., and probably other regions, too, from playing. Um, so, yeah, anyway, let's just jump into this and uh, enjoy ourselves some draft mode that's not at 5 o'clock in, in the afternoon. All right, so, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and pick... Ooh. Honestly, I don't know who I want to pick here, but I'm not going to focus on, like, any particular unit. In the past couple videos, I've been trying to focus on a specific unit uh, in these drafts, but, you know, let's just see what uh, what happens and what comes our way. Let's go for Briar. I think Briar, which is decent into Genoa, right? So, yeah, we're just going to uh, go with the flow and actually just try our best to uh, play legitimately and... Ooh, hang on guys, they updated draft mode with Ravi! Look at this insane Ravi build! Wow, that's like mine, but with 200 more defense, uh, 200 more attack, and like uh, 1,500 more, more HP. So that that's nuts. Um, Alright, we can go for the... Do I want to go for Ravi here? I guess so. Let's go for Ravi here. It's, they have Blitica, right? Well, we're good, we're good. Fire Ravi locked in. Abigail! Nah, it doesn't really matter. That's fine. Uh, who Arc Demon? Wait a minute. Should we go Arc Demon to Genoa? It's a fast Genoa though. If we seal that Genoa, it's pretty much over. I do, I do want to try this Arc Demon. Let's try the Arc Demon here. The last pick needs to be insane. Uh, Senya. Actually, that's fine. Arc Demon's solid into all these characters right now. Uh, I don't want any of these. I do want a support unit. Like a cleanser healer. Oh no, this is not not really what we're looking for. Would Spectre be okay? Yeah, Spectre Tenebria will be alright. She's destruction pen. She has a lot of damage. She can probably stun the Genoa, and that's all honestly all I'm looking for here. Would Spez be alright? Uh let's go for the Spectre instead. I think I think we'll be okay with Spectre. As long as they don't ban Laya, I think we're good. Bibulus. Uh, I don't think I want to fight the Bibulus. I think every everything else is fine. Arc Demon on counter. Ravi's on counter, right? Let's go ahead and ban Bibulus. Oh, he bans Lia. Yep, I figured he's gonna ban Lia, so it's kind of why I was trying to trying to find a cleanser or a pusher or healer something to to uh, help support this team. But we're full DPS here. It's fine. We got this. We got Book on our side too, so Arc Demon can soul burn. Ravia stun. Uh, the Spectra stuns, right, and Blitica's going first, which is kind of funny to me, <laughs> honestly. She can try to stun somebody, but besides that, she can't really do much. Oh, really? S3 without anything else? Um, sorry about that. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, well, r rest in peace, you got sealed. Um, yeah, so, uh, if, if my voice, by the way, still sounds weird, it's because I'm recording on the same day I recorded the RTA video. Uh, and, yeah, I, my, my throat is still quite a bit in shambles, but it doesn't hurt or anything to talk and stuff, so, so we're, we're, we're alright. Uh, we can go for the Genoa here. Just soul burn this. I just want to ensure that we ignore the res. Oh, ooh! Ooh! Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Can we strip? No, we didn't strip. Okay. Briarwitch might be able to strip here, and then just straight up kill Genoa. Because his, his passive uh, can't proc, because he's sealed. He has no cleansing as well. So let's go for this. Alright, oh, there you go. Beautiful stuff, guys. Look at that. He can't proc his own immortality with his uh, passive sealed. That was Abigail's immortality and vampirism buff, by the way. So, got rid of the Genoa there, and uh, honestly, at this point, it's pretty much over. Fire Ravi hasn't even taken a turn, and everyone's like defense broken. Unbuffable here. Senya doesn't even get a counter buff. Uh, Senya's dead. <laughs> oh, this is insane. What is happening? Wow, that's nutty. That is nutty. I honestly, I, this kind of makes me want to rebuild my Arc Demon on my account and 
and make her so that she can counter like Genuas and things. That was pretty good. I might try to make her like a bit more offensive. This one has no damage, which is fine. You just need a seal. But I've seen Arc Demons that have just full damage. They're really fast. They go before Genua. They just soul burn. They nuke the Gen. They seal the Genua. They nuke him with the S1. The S2 strip his uh strip his immortality and then boom, he's dead. Right? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So this is the one that they were using, right? Speed Torrent. Okay. Uh, ooh, do I want to try an Ahmed build? Oh, Ahmed doesn't have... Oh, yeah, that's right. The, the new Soul Weaver is not released yet. I think when the new Soul Weaver gets released, her artifact's kind of nuts. It's like a, it's like a, a Target Hell's Ancient book, but for Soul Weavers. I think it'd be kind of cool. I guess I'll try Ahmed here. There's no, there's no reason not to. Right? She did get changed a little bit. She's not as insanely fast. Oh, look at this. Two lovers facing off against each other, right? Okay. Uh, let's go for... Man, Apoc Ravi's stats just pale in comparison to Fire Ravi's, doesn't it? Uh, with Ron, I could honestly go for like a Bellion here. It doesn't, it doesn't seem terrible, right? If they're trying to cleave us, it doesn't seem terrible. Yeah, they are. Look at that. He, Tomoka has book, so Bellion blocks that. Uh, Eaton also doesn't look that bad here, honestly. Eaton with protection set is nutty. Let's go for it. I'm really excited about this one. Alright, and... Yeah, because if he keeps going fast and keeps going, like, cleave... Oh, he's not. Maybe Chloe's a bit slower. I do need some damage dealers, though. Are any of these good enough? Is Lionheart good enough here? There's no real extra attack except Tomoka's X1. So probably not. Let's go ahead and just change. Ooh, Shaltier, but... There's a Ron on the other side. Like, we're dead. I guess Arya is pretty decent. We can go for Arya for sure. Oh, he's going Veronica. Okay, Arya at least has elemental advantage of Veronica, so she has a chance to miss. Uh, Violet seems really funny here, not gonna lie. Violet seems really, really funny, so let's go for Violet. He is not really bulky at all. I prefer my Violets to be bulkier. Uh, I actually legitimately don't have one ever built. Mine's still 5-star. Uh, so the Rem Violet meta was kind of fun uh, to fight against. because you, I just use Briarwitch into him all the time. But the ones that are the worst to deal with are the ones with uh, high bulk, right? High defense, high uh, HP. Elvira is picked, but we don't have any fighting spirit units. Unless they're confusing Arya's like focus meter with fighting spirit but i think in this case we ban ron if he bans bellion he can still soul burn and defense break everybody so we're gonna ban the ron uh, he's gonna ban aria okay oh actually it's not bad it's not bad we'll have a we have an orius tank right we have some damage dealers we have bellion as well all right let's go for it let's go for it come on ahmed you got this i think we're taking first turn Oh, ooh, Tomo! Whoa. Oh, yeah, no, Veronica's a speed imprint. Forgot about that. Alright. So, Tomoka going first is actually fine. Actually, he'll push up his entire team, won't he? Veronica goes, Elvira goes. All before Amis. We can't get any, um, skill nulls up, but Eaton should mitigate a ton of damage no matter who he goes for. Does Tomoka have extra hit chance, actually? No, she doesn't. Okay, that's good. Oh, look at that! Look at that! We almost one shot. <laughs> oh, Violet's gonna be the end of this guy. Violet's gonna be the end of this guy. Is he actually gonna hit? He's just going for the yellow. Oh, he did hit! <gasps> that was a nice counter. So he's gonna bomb the Ahmed now. Uh, he's gonna detonate it, right? So even I'll miss. Yeah, see, look at that. Ooh, we lose this turn. Eaton providing a lot of damage mitigation, though. Oh, I don't know why he's going for Violet. He's never gonna hit, is the main thing. Maybe he's given up. Alright, Mei can revive, but Violet's gonna be going, so I don't, I don't know about that. Because we can just kill whoever he revives here. Yeah, Tomoka. Tomoka's dead, so we're just gonna go ahead and boom, boom down. We're not even gonna eat uh, Violet's apple because he doesn't need the uh, doesn't need the healing yet. We have an S3 ready on the next turn too. Right, let's go for the S2. Skill null. Get the CR pushing. Get the S3. Gonna push up the Violet, I think. 
push up the Vila here. Oh! <laughs> no. Why'd you quit? I didn't even get to take Eaton's first. I really wanted to see Eaton smash. Like, Eaton, I just wanted to S1 with him really badly. Uh, Alright, we'll jump into another one. It's all good. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, jumping into this one here, got, uh, Albedo. I like it how quickly they added the collab units into this mode. I, I like that they're keeping draft mode updated, they're not forgetting about it, which is really nice. Let's go for, should we go Ahmed again? I, I feel like we didn't really get to use her in that one, because we, we kind of intimidated by Ron, and then obviously Tomoka outsped us. And then Veronica got lucky with the 50-50 too. But drafting pretty well so far. And again, look how fast these Qs are, right? Pretty good. Ooh, Genua getting picked up. Okay, we're definitely gonna need... Ooh, DDR looks pretty tempting against Genua, not gonna lie. Let's go for Ahmed DDR. That's gonna be pretty good. Let's go for that. And they're gonna go for Crescent Moon Rin. Ooh. She can stun. She is a little bit interesting here. This is a degen Politis. We got Brig, we got Summertime Assyria. I don't know if any of these units are honestly great here. I, I do kind of want to use Brig into Genua. I think that'll be kind of funny, so let's go for it. Oh, he is going for Blitica. Uh, Rin is an opener for... Oh, we got Ainz, guys. There's Ainz right here. Do we go Fallen Cecilia? Man, is this the next uh, unit that people are going to jump on for buffs? Everyone's going to be like, buff, buff FCC? Uh, hmm, nor Rimuru. Rimuru with Uberius' Tooth is insane. Uh, I don't know if Ainz is the play here, honestly. He would be really funny, so I guess we can go Ainz just because he's super funny. I would actually pick uh, F Fallen Cecilia right here, but it's a good thing I didn't because Strassi's picked up. Okay. Oh, Acid. Guys, we go Acid, we ban the ban the Rin, right? Go Acid and ban the Rin. I think that's I think that's what we have to do. Because Ahmed or Acid's gonna go. We didn't even actually have to refresh this uh, fight. Yeah, this is good. This is real good. Uh, he's going for Carrot. Carrot doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and ban the Rin. Uh, Rin would be able to proc the Politica, and I don't want that to happen. Oh, he bans the Sid. I mean, that's that's understandable. Kind of the unit I would probably ban too. But now we have Ahmed, Ainz, Brig, and DDR. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. These weird wonky teams can only happen in draft mode, which I do love. Let's go for an S2. Just push everybody up. Alright, and I am going to go for the S1 onto the... I could push Ainz up, honestly. Go ahead and push the Ainz. There we go. So that D when DDR goes, we can take extra turns, right? So let's just go ahead and put this on uh, Carrot. So I don't have to deal with Carrot directly. Uh, Brig could honestly probably take care of the Carrot. Blitica's just... I doubt Blitica's ever going to do anything. That's why I'm just kind of ignoring her. A little bit of a BM move, I know. You could probably death sentence the Blitica, but I feel like that's a waste. Right? Because look, she's going to get injury down anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We just have Brig go. Uh, we could S2, might as well. Boom, right? And then we'll go into the Straze. He's the only one that isn't uh, slept. So if we can kill him here, which I think we can, because this Brig packs a punch. And we also have the. Um, yeah, we also bopped ourselves for damage. We have the. Uh, what is it called? Perception, right? Perception. Okay, Ainz. Let's go ahead and stun this Genua. No, resist? Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and hit the Genua, get that Venom going. I honestly don't think we even need to do anything to Politica, so let's just sleep the Genua here. There you go. So he loses his turn, he can't really do anything. Everyone has skill now, so Blitica legitimately can't do anything anyway. And after this turn, Carrot's dead. So she didn't get to do anything, so Ainz putting in the work. We don't even have to touch the Carrot here. Alright, she was just gonna try to stun the Break. Doesn't work. Carrot's dead. Death sentence. Look at that, guys. And now, if we can stun here... Great. Oh, we didn't stun. Okay, so Genua does get to proc. But again, it's, it's fine. 
Just hit the... Proc is immortality, that's the main thing I want to do now. Just proc his immortality. Because everyone else has skill null, the only one he can hit is Breeg. So you can S1 to Breeg and, and try to kill him. But we get 30% less damage. Oh, he's just gonna go for DDR. Interesting. Yeah, I create your attack buff here. Look at this. Pentry's defense. Oh, almost! Almost got me! Alright. Uh, I think we, we just sleep the Genoa again. Because Bulika already used her S3. She can't kill. Oh no, she has her S3 back. Hey, look at her. She's turn cycling. Maybe she can actually kill DDR. Or no, he's just gonna go for Breek again. I don't honestly think he can kill DDR. Yeah, even on Breeg, look at that damage. And Breeg's much slower, right? So here, we replenish the skill null. There we go. And yeah, that's that's pretty much all she wrote. Unfortunately for my opponent here. Unfortunately. Maybe I should rebuild Ahmed. The, the problem with Ahmed in real RTA is that she gets countered really hard by Bunny Dom, by Politis, right? Now uh, Earth Selene with her buff is going to be really difficult to play around for non-attack skill users. Yeah, Ahmed's just uh, not, not looking to be in good shape right now. I kind of want to use Abyssal Yuffine. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Abyssal Yuffine. I, I really like her design, and honestly, she's like one of my favorite ML5s. She's really really fun to use. I know people hate on her because because she's like terrible to fight against for a short period of time. But uh, yeah, honestly, now she's so neutered by all the counters they released that ML Landy is much bigger threat than her. And even then, I don't think ML Landy is that big of a problem. Uh, see Phantom Politis getting picked up. I guess we go for Bellion. Unless they get Genua here, I'm not honestly going to be too intimidated. That's a... Uh, okay, the Spectre. It's a chatty version of Spectre. Hey, look, Belly encounters that. That's fantastic. I don't like any of these units because Riley gets his evasion stripped, Dilibet can't get her fighting spirit, and A. Coley doesn't even outspeed this uh, Politis. Let's go ahead and change. Oh, guys, buff Selene. Hang on. Okay. Alright, so her EE is just damage dealt, uh, attacks the highest attack. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go with Selene. Because she starts the, the match with stealth. Now, it would get stripped by the Politis, but again, if Politis is doing that, then we're killing we're killing the, the Spectre. So it's all good. Zeo we could actually probably use here. Let's go ahead and use this to shut down the Sid, the A Sid. So I don't have to ban any of these characters right now. Uh, Lionheart, ooh, she's going to be... Lionheart's gonna be uh, annoying to deal with. Blitica. Should I use Blitica here? I honestly don't know. Blitica proc the Lionheart though. That's the thing. Blitica procs Lionheart, and I don't know if I like that. Pirate Captain Flaunt seems pretty cool. Yeah, let's go Pirate Captain Flaunt. Sorry, Blitica. I really, really want her to be good, but unfortunately, this mode is even harder to use her in than RTA. <clears throat> uh, they're going for Shaltier. Honestly, could I just ban Shaltier? Or the Sid? I think I just ban Shaltier. I'm, I'm equipped to fight everybody here. I think. We're definitely a go uh, second team. So, he bans Zeo. Alright, maybe we should have banned Sid. I don't know, I feel like Shaltier is still the ban here. Uh, Zeo would have countered either Sid or Shaltier, and both I think would have gone before my units. Except Power Captain Flan, but she's pretty tanky. Let's hope that we're fine. Abyssal Yuffian's on Holy Sack, which I also don't like. I prefer it to be on Elbrus. Oh, that's a lot of damage, guys! That's a lot of damage! Power Captain Flan, what's going on? Okay, so he's doing it! He's ripping the S3! Does Sid have an attack buff? No? We should go into the Spectre, yeah, there you go. We should be going to the Spectre here, so Spectre's dead. Don't care that Lionheart proc'd, honestly. We could just go ahead and S3 here. Because Selene now gives uh, 10 souls, so she can just soul burn the, her S3 without fail every time, which is insane. Uh, Pirate Captain Flan's dead, that's for sure. 
the lighthouse gonna come in. She's on Golden Rose, I think, so she'll heal quite a bit. There we go. Ooh, Abyssal Yuffie not looking too good here. Alright, who's he gonna go for? We might lose. Oh, we might not lose this. Hang on. I was like, we're gonna lose this. Maybe not. Maybe not. Look at this. We stripped the evasion off the Sid. Hang on. Yuffie can definitely kill this. There you go. Oh, I'm so so I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the Lionheart passive of giving the opponent just infinite dual attack chances, right? Alright, Bellion's fallen. It's okay, let's go for this. We still have our evasion, we're good, we're good. He could try to kill here, I mean, uh, hopefully Abyssal Yuffine is going to be fine. Hopefully. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, at least Selene survived. Abyssal Yuffine comes back. Who's he try to kill? It's a 50-50 shot against Selene, but it's a guaranteed hit against the Bissel Yuffine, so he does go for Yuffine. He has another dual attack here. Oh, that's not good. This is not good at all. No healing for me here. We lose the evasion buff. Oh, mm, stealth is not going to help. Stealth is not going to help. Uh-oh. Oh, I think we lost this. Selene's too squishy. There's no way. Good game, good game. That was a good one. Oh, man. That really sucks. Uh, if Selene, I think, had gone a little bit faster, we would have been able to get another S2 proc off uh, from, like, the Lionheart proccing. So we did get really lucky with the Bellion dual tax, but unfortunately it wasn't enough that Lionheart... Maybe Lionheart was the ban. Maybe Lionheart was the ban. I was just worried that the Shaltier just one-shot the Selene. As you can see, she was she was putting in work. She was very important to the team there. Um, Alright, let's see who we go for. Should we go for... I feel like Lua has just kind of fallen off the map. No one ever picks her anymore. See Phantom Politis. Let's go for her. All right. Let's see what we can manage here. Oh, my opponent gets the Ahmed. I've been really enjoying the Ahmed picks. She's been kind of good. Uh, Cowric is a bruisery build. Yeah, I, I changed my Cowric to a bruisery build too. So be on the lookout for that, by the way. Count Overview coming up soon. Once my voice gets better, because my voice right now is absolutely still uh, in recovery mode. Uh... I think, honestly, Earth Sharoon is going to be pretty cool here. This is a nutty Earth Sharoon. So much effectiveness and a decent amount of res. It's pretty nice. Mine's on counter, which is why I can't get these stats without, uh, like, destroying her bulk. It's not too terrible, not too terrible. Uh, ooh. DDR on the other side is very concerning. I have to refresh. None of these units are good. Uh, Fairy Tail might be okay, actually. Let's go Fairy Tail Tenebria. We need to ban Ahmed for this to work. Not having two openers, never mind, we're dead. Acid's gonna destroy us. Um, I kinda wanna go Fire Ravi. Honestly, I wanna go Fire Ravi. Bunny Dom is solid, though. Bunny Dom's great against his DDR. But we have no damage. I have to go for something like a Fire Ravi here. At the very least, she can maybe cleanse herself with her passive. We might just have to ban DDR altogether. If we don't ban the Amit or the Ace, I think we have to ban DDR. Ocean Breeze Luluka. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Do we go Senya? The Senya looks pretty decent, except for the low attack. But I feel like she might be okay. The Great Mortelix, huh? I think we go for Senya here. It's an injury more. There's not really much we can injury down the other side. Oh, the B who's gonna hurt so bad. We have to ban the DDR. And he's banning the Fire Ravi too. Ooh, guys, this stings. Okay. All right, the B who's gonna destroy my Senya for sure. Oh, and innocent Gabs. Whoa. All right. Good goodbye, Fairy Tail. Or Sharoon, or Senya. I honestly think you can probably kill anybody. There goes a fairy tale. It's okay. Ahmed's gonna push up. Bihu's gonna go. Uh, Oshbri's Luluka's gonna go. Yeah, that's not good. He can actually just uh, S2 and then S3 the Sid. Right, Sid's gonna cut. He's legitimately gonna take another turn before Senya even moved. The good thing is, uh, Oshibri's Luluka is going before. I mean, I, I guess it doesn't really matter. She wouldn't get her uh, full focus meter off anyway, because of Politus. Bihu's gonna go. Probably S3. 
push up the Sid again, why not? Look at the Sid and how cracked he is! Guys! It's insane! I think Bihu's also gonna put a burn on everyone, too. Yeah, look at that! Yo, the Sid, guys! Oh my god! We're dead! Absolutely dead! Oh, never mind. He has so many buffs that we can go. Uh, he has evasion, though, so I, I doubt we're gonna hit him here. If we do, it's a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ooh, no kill. Wait a minute. Let's go for this. We gotta strip something. We gotta push him back. Honestly, this is all I can hope for. Is that we can do this, and then... Uh, Senya can do something. So let's go for the soul burn. Hopefully I hit Bihu. If I hit Bihu, we're gonna be cooking. If we don't, oh, we don't hit the Bihu. Uh-oh, that's not good. That's not good. Let's try to reset the Bihu. Come on, guys, reset the Bihu. Oh, it didn't work, didn't work. Polinus can't even dual tag because we don't have the rage buff on us. Just give her the crit damage buff here. There you go. Oh, he still gets a gap buff, though. All right, nice. Senya finished him off. That's pretty good. Another barrier for the team. We have Rage, we have great, Greater Attack Buff, we have Crit Damage Buff for some reason, a uh, Counter Buff as well. Very nice crystals, keeping us alive, that's not bad. Alright, and the good thing is, uh, Ocean Breeze Luluka's focus is gaining so slowly because of the Politus. That's actually good for us right now. Alright, uh, at this point... Honestly, I don't know who to go for. We just gotta kill the Bihu, right? If we can kill Bihu, we're good. So get rid of the ice cream buff there. Uh, go for... I don't I don't think we can ever debuff. We can probably debuff the Ahmed. Let's go ahead and just... There we go. One turn increase on Ahmed is fantastic. Get rid of the defense buff here. Strip that. There we go. Okay, and we're stealth. So now we're cooking. We're good. Because now you can hit Sharoon or you can hit the Senya. And I just want Sharoon to keep cutting to get more chances uh, against this, this Bihu. We need to reset him. If he has threes, it's over. Oh, wait, never. Oh, oh good. I thought he had an animation there. Okay, that's not bad. Ocean Breeze Luluka still has one. She can only gain half focus. Still, still a few more turns. Okay, let's go for another S3 here. Soulburn S3 is huge for us right now. We're definitely gonna just need to abuse this. Oh, good, we hit! We hit the Bihu, that's awesome! Alright, let's go for another S3. I just need to gain the combat readiness with Sharoon. Because <clears throat> I don't think Ahmed has her S3 up. She might have S2, actually. No S1 yet. Um... Yeah, Ahmed doesn't. We reset the Ahmed last time, so we're good. Keep hitting the Bihu, try to get him low. So Ahmed can S1, pushes up Bihu. Bihu can go. He's gonna push up everybody, okay. Alright, it's fine. Counter. Good. Nice little barrier, so we can take less burn damage. Come on, Senya, you got this here. Ocean Breeze Lulika's probably gonna proc her extra hit, and I think she's part affecting this build. So it might actually hurt my uh, Senya here, it might strip our buffs. Luckily we've been soul burning her S3 though. Ooh, no strip, that's good. We did get silenced and we did get, um... Ooh, hang on. I am gonna go for the reset on Ahmed. There we go, good. Okay, so Ahmed can't really do much. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the Ahmed again. We do have a uh, blind, which is why I'm not hitting Bihu. I'd 100% miss on him. Uh, we can go back into stealth. Let's go for the Ahmed. I just don't want Ahmed to buff this Bihu, because then he'd be nuts. Bihu does have S3, though. I gotta be careful. Got nice crystals. Good, good, good. Get some heals. He is gonna S3 here. He's probably gonna Soul Burn this, too. He'll push up his entire team. <clears throat> and then Ahmed can actually push Bihu up again. So we're not in a great position right now. Luluka has S3, okay. A lot of buffs. Sharoon? Good. Sharoon does cut. That is pretty nice. Probably... Probably gonna need to reset this Ahmed. Let's go for it. Good, okay. 
so she can't S2, S3. Uh, this will push up the Bihu, it's fine. We don't have a counter buff, we have unbuffable on Senya. It's kind of bad. It's kind of bleak right now, guys. Kind of bleak. He can probably detonate onto the Sea Phantom Politis, yeah. If he hits two burns... Ooh, he just needed one. Oh, that's terrifying, guys. We don't we don't S3 because we don't have a, a, a way to buff. Yeah, oh, we might lose this. I think we lost this. Because uh, Hamid can now go. Shoot, Hamid putting in so much work. That's nuts. Okay, yeah, this is... Oh, attack buff crit damage buff on Bihu. It's not good. And the haste buff, too. So he's going to be lapping my Senya here. He's going to kill Sharoon. Oh no, he's putting another unbuffable on us. We don't have any way to cleanse. We resisted, though. Hey, at least we resisted. At least we can go for the S3. Bihu going to be taking another turn. Look at that. The only way we cut with Sharoon is because of her passive. He has so many buffs that we jumped up a little bit. But now Sharoon's dead. Senya's so dead. Uh, we're on Frenzy 5, almost 6. Look at the attack! Increased attack is almost 75% right now. It's insane. Uh, he can S1 push up Ahmed. Ahmed pushes up the Bihu. He's actually soul burning just to push everybody up. Ahmed, ooh, actually, I forgot the reflect damage can actually help us. I don't think it really will in the end. Let's go for this. Nope. No hit. Oh, this sucks. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get hit by burns and it's over. Once these burns detonate... Oh, that hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. Yeah, there you go. Unfortunately, guys, we could not win in the end. That, that Ahmed had to lock her down. But that Bihu was really smart pick, really solid there at the last moment to lock down my Earth DPS. Uh, but with that being said though guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.